Hi everyone, how are you? Welcome to another question and answer session for MRCS exam. Here, this is the question. A 53 years old man is undergoing a distal pancreatectomy for trauma. Which of the following vessels is responsible for the arterial supply of the tail of the pancreas? So, it is one of the direct question that which artery is responsible for the supply of the tail of the pancreas? And uh, it occurs due to distal pancreatectomy of a patient uh, who is for trauma. Here are the options. Options are esplenic artery, pancreatico duodenal artery, gastric artery, hepatic artery, and superior mesenteric artery. So, first of all, let's see the division of the pancreas or parts of the pancreas. Here we can see this is a pancreas and different part of the pancreas. As is here, this is the head, neck, body, tail, then unseated process. We have to find out the blood supply of the tail it arises from which of the artery so let's see this second picture here here you can see this is the pancreas and here this head neck area then body and this area is the tail of the pancreas and here the unseen process you can see this tail area it is supplied by this large artery which is the splenic artery so tail of the pancreas it is supplied by the splenic artery also the part of the body also supplied by the splenic artery so it is uh, clear that the tail of the pancreas this is the tail of the pancreas tail part of the pancreas it is supplied the branch from the splenic artery so our answer is now ready that the splenic artery it is responsible for the blood supply to the tail of the pancreas thank you all